this dangerously cold weather, it's best to stay inside as much as you possibly can these next, co next couple of days. But for farmers who spend most of their time outside, they can't afford to take a break. NBC 15's Madeline Anderson shows us how one area farm is preparing for tomorrow's sub-zero temperatures. Farming runs in Corey Brown's blood. My grandfather, my father, my mother, and myself all work on the farm. He grew up milking the family's 500 cows on their Belleville farm. Now 21, Corey can handle just about anything Mother Nature throws his way. We grumble about it, but um, with the tools we have today, everything keeps moving. Even when it's fairly cold, actually, our barn will work to about zero degrees. But with temperatures expected to reach as low as negative 20 degrees Sunday into Monday. The worry is mostly that um, mostly our water system freezing up because once our water system breaks down, uh, our animals won't have water. We won't have water to heat other things. The manure that our animals produce will freeze and we won't be able to keep the pens clean. So in his thickest winter gear, Corey spent the past week insulating the barns, stocking up on special bedding and increasing the animals' calories to help them stay warm. We're going to be looking for frostbite on the animals. We actually, uh, with the colder snap earlier, we did have a little bit of frostbite on some of our younger animals and will be definitely a big concern here. Uh, ourselves working outside in this, uh, even our employees working inside, uh, this barn is not 100% cold proof. It will be very chilly inside. Reporting in Belleville, Madeline Anderson, NBC 15. Now the Brown family farm also grows some perennial crops like alfalfa, which is susceptible to the cold this time of year. Corey says all the snow we've gotten should help insulate the alfalfa during this cold snap. Also